Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I thought I would have a little bit of a festive day and bring you guys along with me. I really feel like making a few decorations and I'm also going to be using my Cricut later on in the video. Very excited to be working with them. I really think you guys are going to enjoy this video because it's very crafty and quite just chill. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing later on in the video but first um, I've just got ready and I'm going to head out to Burford Garden Centre to get some inspiration for Christmas decorations that I could make and also just as an excuse to walk around a Christmassy shop. <laughs> I was going to wear a nice coat and a nice bag but now I think it's going to just be raining all day so I'm going to just wear my big black puffer jacket um, which is quite good because it's got huge pockets so I don't need to take a bag. Let me show you what I'm wearing quickly. The mirror is a little bit smudgy, so I'm sorry about that. I did clean it, but it clearly didn't work very well. <laughs> so I've got on this old jumper from Zara and my favorite anthropology jeans that I picked up last year. I was gonna take my lovely Chloe bag, but I don't think I need to take it with me today. I think I'm just gonna take a few things with me. I was also gonna wear this jacket, but it's raining, so I'm just gonna wear the big black one and go with it. So I need to take my mask and purse out of this one and yes, get ready to go. Slight change of outfit plan. Doesn't look like it's raining too much. So I've gone with my oversized brown Topshop coat and my little Fairfax in favor Chelsea boots. And now I'm ready to go and look at all the Christmas things. pretty successful shop at Burford. I've got lots of ideas for paper decorations I can do and I picked up a few presents and another new cute Christmas tree decoration and now we're off to Waitrose to get some fancy food bits as presents for people and then we'll be heading home. Hello, been assessing my purchases. Thought I'd show you a few of the bits I picked up from the garden centre. Of course, I can't seem to go to one without finding a cute little animal. <laughs> and I could not leave this little bear behind. He's so cute. So he can go up on my tree somewhere. I'm gonna put him quite high up because I really like him. I need to chop his little tag off. How cute. He's next to my other favorite one, the little badger. 
think the bear is now probably my new favorite. <laughs> There's a few Christmas presents, and then I also picked up some of this green twine for doing some Christmas wrapping. And I also got some of this just plain brown ribbon. And then I also picked up quite a few of these in different flavors um, because they just looked really yummy and like a nice pretty little gift to go along with a present. And then I did very well in Waitrose, got lots of nice little presenty bits and I got some roses I think I got two of those tins um, because they're really good presents for friends I got a load of candy kittens because they were on offer and they are my favorite yeah bought lots of naughty things so back in the studio I'm gonna do some little DIYing with you guys super excited to be working with Cricut for this part of the video so let me turn the camera around and show you my new machine, which I have been obsessed with ever since it arrived. <laughs> so here we have the Cricut Maker 3, which is the ultimate smart cutting machine. <laughs> I've wanted to play around with the Cricut for so long, and this one was absolutely perfect because it cuts fabric. So let me show you the machine quickly. It's got a very satisfying way of opening. Oh, don't mind the sounds. I keep little things under here that roll around a little bit. So I have a special blade for cutting the fabric kept in there and a fabric marking pen that washes off, um, a little squeegee thing. And then you can buy all sorts of handy little attachments for it. I particularly liked the little tweezers when I was using it for fabric. I want to show you a few projects I've already made and I want to finish a few off as well with you guys so you can see how it works. And the machine cuts over 300 different types of fabric, which is insane. So you're pretty much covered to be able to cut most things that you will want to. You can even cut chipboard and leather. I was thinking about making some little leather labels maybe. So the first product that came to my mind when I was thinking about using the Maker 3 was hexagon quilts. This is my first little fabric project that I have done with the Maker 3 and it is a hexagon quilt little i was going to make this into a wall hanging but i think i'm just going to frame it um, i still haven't finished this last bit i just need to attach the last little bit um, so it's all sewn by hand and you can see on the back it's just lots of little hexagons all stitched together it's quite a traditional technique and it obviously takes a long time <laughs> but it's a really nice little project to sit and do in front of the TV. And the thing that's put me off making a hexagon quilt before is how long it would take me to cut out all the bits of fabric and all the bits of card that you need for the paper piecing. So this is where the Maker 3 comes in super handy and I was able to cut all of these out very fast and that saved me a lot of time. So yeah, I'm excited to finish this one. I'll finish it with you guys today and then we'll try and find a frame somewhere. And then these are something I've been working on recently, which are little honeycomb ornaments. And I just think they look so incredible. So I used cardstock for this. I just found it in a craft shop and I did a selection of different colours. I've always been a big fan of paper decorations and now I'm so happy that I can make them myself. And then, of course, I had to make some Christmas cards. So for this one, I used the Smart Card Stock from Cricut and I used this beautiful pale blue colour. I also just looked out a few different Smart Vinyl shades to make some more cards later on to send off to friends and family. So I thought this red vinyl was perfect and also this glittery silver one is just perfect for Christmas. So for today's video, I wanted to make some more of these really beautiful garland, paper garland decorations. This is a pink one I made the other day, but I want to make a cream one 
to go on my Christmas tree and sort of wrap all the way around. I'll go and show you the little sample I made that is on my tree. So this little cream paper garland is what I want to make more of right now so that it sort of wraps around the tree a few times. So let's go switch on my Cricut and I can show you how I made these. So I'm just going to use plain cream card for this DIY and then that is going to need to go on a mat so I'm using the light grip Cricut mat. So now I've just come onto my iPad and I'm going to find the project I made earlier which is I've just named circles but I'm going to show you quickly how easy it is to just create a shape that you can cut out on the Cricut. You've got a selection of different shapes. The hexagon is what I used for creating my hexagon quilt. Um, but today we're just going to use circle and you can place it wherever and it obviously has a really handy grid so you can see the size of the shapes and then if you want more of them you can just keep duplicating them and then it will cut out a load of them at once. So that is how I've been creating my little shapes but I'm going to use the one I've already done so that they're the same size. So I'm going to make it and I'm going to make it on a mat. Let me open up the Cricut and I'm going to have my material is going to be A4. So we'll pop it there and then I'm going to add the first bit of card to the top left corner and just stick that down lightly onto the mat. You can also put your iPad up here so you can see exactly which project you're working on. Let's turn it on. So the machine is on and now we're going to press next up here pair it with the Maker 3 and now we're going to choose the material so this one is light cardstock and then you just pop the mat in and it will align the mat and once it's done that the play button will flash and you can start the machine off cutting so it's super simple to use Eject it from the machine and then I like to pull the card off and it's so satisfying. And then if you like you can use these tools from Cricut to take off pieces of paper and it's nice. I like to bend the mat a little bit so that you can take the card off without getting any bends in the card. So there we go, we now have a load of little circles cut out, ready to be sewn together. So I'm just going to get on and cut a load of these out so that I'm going to have a good length garland. So I've now cut out a load of these little circles and I'm going to take all of these over to my sewing machine. So it's a really easy little technique to make these. You just want to split it into roughly two piles and then you're going to take two bits, so two little circles, place them on top of each other and just stitch straight down the middle. I will line up the next one and you just want a little gap between it so I just keep the machine going and just sort of push the next one on as I go. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better now. And so you just keep adding two at a time. And then in a minute I'll show you what I do next after I've sewn them all together. Finished sewing everything together. Now all you have to do is fold out the sides like so and just squish them flat and then they will start to do their own thing and look. 3D like and super cool and I love how they sort of catch the light differently. So 
So I've finished the garland and I'm just going to take this one off first, the little samples I made. And they'll be quite good for putting at the top of the tree to be honest. Um, so I'm going to see how far I can get this big one that I've just made. Right, let's do this. there we have a very full looking tree. I love how this paper garland looks. It just sort of adds a lot of volume and interest to the tree. Very happy with that little DIY and it was made much easier and quicker by using the Cricut Maker 3. So there we go, that is my little DIY with the Cricut Maker 3. Let me know if you guys want to see more of me using it. Um, I literally have ideas coming out of my ears with things I want to do with it now. I'm going to finish my little bit of hand sewing now and get that in a frame and I can show you what it looks like before the end of the video. And then after, it's nearly time for dinner, um, so I'm going to go and have some dinner soon and then I'm going to start wrapping some Christmas presents because they are stacking up in a pile in front of me and I would love to get some wrapped and out of the way. So that is the plan for this evening. in the frame but I need to get some nice card to go behind it that's big enough to fit in this frame because at the moment I just got pattern paper at the back but that's probably how it's gonna look I might even try finding a frame that's slightly thinner um, up this way um, but I just wanted to put it in a frame to give you an idea of what it will look like so ideally I think I want to get maybe even a black frame that will go around here. So yes, I'm going to be on the hunt for one of those now. It's now the next day and I'm going to do some Christmas wrapping this morning. I ran out of time yesterday and I just was not in the mood for Christmas wrapping. And I always find you really have to be in the mood for wrapping presents. <laughs> Otherwise I do a very bad job at it. So I've got my little setup behind me and I'm going to get to wrapping. I'm gonna show you the wrapping paper I'm gonna use this year. So this bag of stuff is to go to London tomorrow for my management and I'm heading into London so I can take that to them. And then I have a few bits of paper recycled over there from a previous video and these are the main ones I'm going to use this year. And this one is from Primark this one is just a brown paper and then this one is from Typo. And then I have a few different twines that I can use. This one I picked up in Burford yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna get to wrapping. can't seem to find any light that doesn't make me look like a vampire so <laughs> it's gonna have to go with it it's that time of the day and even with lights on it's just making me look very grey but anyway I think I'm gonna end the video here because the wrapping is getting very repetitive and I want to go and do something else um, I actually have to do something very boring which is put my car in for its MOT so that's fun. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you want 
to see any more Cricut videos with me doing some little projects. Thanks again to Cricut for working with me on this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any good present ideas for brothers or dads in the comments down below because those are always the ones that I struggle with. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.